Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be showing you how to change a hard drive in this Dell Studio One 1909 model. This is a all-in-one unit touchscreen capable sporting a Core 2 Duo. Now these originally shipped with Windows Vista. This has a 320 gig hard drive. We're going to be swapping it out with a 500 gig hard drive. So I'm going to start off by laying down some nice soft material. This is a toolbox liner. It's kind of rubbery. It's soft so we don't scratch the screen of this all-in-one unit because we have to lay it face down. Okay, we're going to start here by removing the back cover of this unit. Now we kind of have to get our fingers into these slots down here at the bottom of the unit seen here. We just have to kind of gently but firmly pry up on these slots. Now you want to try to work your way one side and then the other. Right side and then the left side. Firmly pulling the back cover off until you hear it unsnap. And in my audio here you'll hear this back cover unsnapping from the base. So that's what we want to do. Now you shouldn't have to apply too much force because these just clip down onto the actual unit. But you do kind of want to work your way around the bottom and then the edges first without, again, without applying too much pressure. And it'll eventually just come completely unsnapped and that'll expose the, the heat plate that's underneath it. Okay, at this point we're going to have to remove eight screws on the outer edge of this plate here that's, that's going to allow us to remove this exposing uh, the components inside of, of the unit, including the hard drive. Pretty routine here. Now, once all eight of our screws have been loosened away from this heat plate here, just like we did with the back cover, you just kind of gently pry up on the corners and the ends and kind of work its way loose. It comes right off once all your screws are loose. Pulling up gently. And there we have it. The internals of our unit. Now the hard drive here sits in a caddy which we're going to have to remove. Got a proprietary short cables, data cable and power cable there. Um, so we're going to start off by removing the caddy and there's these two screws here that just hold it down so we'll just take those out. Okay, once those screws are out, now you'll notice the caddy is nice and loose. Now we just have to pull the data cable and the power cable from the system board. And those pop out simply by pulling them up. And now we can, now we can just remove the hard drive and caddy from the unit. Now notice here there are two tabs on this caddy. And it's real important to remember these two tabs have to slide in to the two slots that are down here on the case. So that's important when we go to reinstall this hard drive. So to remove the caddy, we basically just need to uh, remove these four screws on either side, two screws on each side of the caddy. Two there to here, remove the screws, 
and the hard drive just pretty much comes right out of the caddy. Pretty basic stuff, not too difficult. Once that's off, we can now deal with the uh, the data cable and the power cable. And basically, all that does is just slide right onto the uh, connectors of the hard drive. Pretty simple. There we go. Okay, now everything's in reverse. Here's the new hard drive. We just slide our cable right back on the way it came off of the other hard drive. And we will replace the hard drive, put it right back in its caddy the way it came out. Secure it with the four screws. And now we're going to, uh, once that's done, we'll be able to slide the caddy back in the case. Now keep in mind we're still looking at the two slots that we have to be sure that slides into the two, the two uh, raised slots in the case to be sure those line up. Slide those in so it secures it. That's looking pretty good there. Then we'll just go ahead and secure our two screws that that hold down the hard drive caddy. And then from that point, we'll go ahead and plug in the data cable and the power cable right back up into the board as it was before. And now we're ready to assemble the heat shield. All right, it's just everything in reverse. Take our shield, line up the, line it up with the holes for the screws, set it back into place, and we just pretty much just retighten down those same eight screws, being sure all of them go in straight. We don't want to strip nothing out. Once again, pretty routine stuff here. And now we're ready to go ahead and put on our back panel. Now, if you notice here on the back panel, there are these clips that are held in the place. And these clips just pretty much just line up with the holes that are on the, on the heat plate shown here. So we just kind of, they basically just snap right on. So it's pretty much just as simple as lining everything up, being sure everything lines up good, and just kind of start pushing down on some corners and some ends until things start snapping in. Working left to right, right to left. Everything's snapping in really good. Might have to work with it a little bit. We just want to be sure every clamp snaps down properly. We don't want to leave any unsnapped. There we go. And we'll clean up our job. Wipe everything down and we're good to go. Well hey guys, hit that like button up there and, in, and comment. I got many more computer repair videos coming soon. So until next time, see you later.